This is Senza by SportsArt, a touchscreen display available on treadmills, ellipticals, and bicycles. It is available in 16 inch and 19 inch sizes. This video will guide you through the basics of setting up Senza for your gym or facility. Let's get started. This is the main screen of Senza. On the left side, you'll see an internet browser. On the right side, you'll have easy access to our virtual runs. And in the center, you'll find quick start as well as preset workouts to select from. Let's begin by connecting the unit to the internet. Start by selecting the gear in the top right corner of the screen. Now enter the password that SportsArt has provided with your product. Now you're in the engineering menu of Senza. To set up Wi-Fi, select the Wi-Fi tab, then select the network you wish to connect to. Now press connect. You'll again have to choose the network you wish to connect to and enter the password when prompted. Press connect when you're finished. Now that we've connected the unit to Wi-Fi, we can begin the software update procedure. Once again, click on the gear symbol in the upper right corner and enter the password that SportsArt provided. In the engineering menu, select the info tab. Make note of the software version. You may wish to either write it down or make a mental note. After we update the Senza unit, we'll be checking to see if that software version has changed. To update, press the Utility tab, and then press and hold the Update button. This will bring up a contextual submenu that will allow you to update the APK, the XML files, and the underlying Android OS separately. For now, we're just going to do the APK. Touch Update APK, and the process will begin. As long as you have a good internet connection, this should only take between one and five minutes. Now to confirm that the APK updated successfully, we'll return to the engineering submenu by touching the gear symbol and navigating back to info. Check your software version. In my case, I'd already performed the update, so there is no change. In your case, it should be 0.26 or above. It is recommended that you navigate back to the utility menu and turn on software auto update. That way, when we make changes to the program, your facility will receive them automatically and they'll be integrated without you having to do anything at all. Now that we've connected to Wi-Fi and updated the APK, the last thing that remains is to connect Senza to your local television system. First, ensure that the coaxial cable or composite cables that you intend to use are plugged in securely to the connections at the base of Senza. Next, we'll return to the engineering menu by pressing the gear symbol in the top right of the screen. Now navigate to the TV tab. First, ensure TV is enabled. If you are connecting to a digital cable source, you'll want to enable cable and DVB-T. Then proceed down to the virtual controller. Here, I'll press this menu button with the three lines. Now, I'll be able to switch between air and cable in the graphics card. After you've selected cable for digital cable, Select Auto Scan and press Enter. After you've selected and confirmed Auto Scan, the procedure will take several minutes to complete. After the channels have been scanned in, press List. This will populate the scanned channels over to the right side of the app and make them available for viewing while exercising. If you have an analog coaxial input, the procedure is similar. Instead of cable, 
we'll select air ATSC and we'll press enter to select air in the video card then simply run the scan again once again remember to hit list when you're finished scanning so that the channels populate into the app itself there is more documentation on the way so if this procedure does not fit your facility's scenario give our customer service team a call and we'll walk you through how to set it up now that we've connected to Wi-Fi updated the APK and set up our television we're ready to live life without limits with Senza by SportsArt